Hola, bienvenue les guys, welcome and welcome back. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about audio, improving audio specifically with a microphone. So I'll show you what I started with, the problems I had, and what I'm using now, which was a little investment, but it handles my work videos, my tour reviews, voiceovers, and my podcasting. I can do it all with this one mic, and you'll never even know that it's in the in the frame it, that that it's on me, or you can't really tell if you don't pay attention. So uh, we'll talk about that because this this one mic can do all of it, but you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. You can go cheap, you can go affordable, or you can invest a little bit. So let's talk about that in this video. I appreciate you guys for coming out. Today we're going to talk about microphones, um, specifically. These can be used on any device so you can do it on your phone tablet most likely and uh, if you have if you ever get actual camera equipment like high-end cameras dslrs whatever it may be you can also use most of these mics on those and uh, if you guys are i'll show you how i use them i'll show you like i always try to hide mine i know a lot of content creators always have the big thing on them uh, or they have it out of the frame because they have a high-end equipment uh, type of mic, but I go for functionality. This, these can be used on multiple devices. These can be used for multiple scenarios. So I do videos at work. I do videos in uh, office space. I do podcasting. I do voiceovers, you know, different things. And I use these mics can do all, all of those things. And you invest uh, just one time if you you know, sit down and think about it as, as to what, which way you want to go. I'll show you different options, what I started with. A lot of these you can just start with right off the rip, but if you don't want to spend a couple hundred bucks on the one that I recommend, you can also use one that I started with, which was a uh, wired mic. Can, you can use that and do a lot with it. That's what I started with. The thing I struggled with the most was I record outside. There's a lot of wind so the audio gets ruined real quick. And I also used some software to kind of clean it up, but I'm not really that good at that. I know there's a DaVinci Resolve. Uh, people say that that one works really well, but this is a simple content. So if you just want to plug and play, record and not think about it and not have to edit too much, uh, I'm going to show you the microphones that worked for me, what I recommend, all that good stuff. And uh, if you couldn't tell, I'm actually wearing one right now because I, I try to keep mine out of sight so that it's not distracting or anything. All right, so it's a little hot. I'm gonna have the AC low, but you're probably gonna hear some of that noise. So you're gonna tell the difference between the first clip and this clip. So I have the mic right here. So if you guys do get these mics that clip onto you, most of them have a magnet. Just turn them around. I, everybody always wears uh, the actual mic outside. I don't know why. I mean, you probably get a little bit better audio, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. And of course, if you have it on the outside, you need the, uh, the wind shield, right? Cause this helps a lot. So if you do work outside or if you are holding it, I guess, uh, I've seen guys do that too. Uh, make sure you use this, but if you have it underneath, uh, you most likely don't need it. You could also wear this whole thing underneath if it is extremely windy and you won't be able to tell, right? All you can tell, if I tell you or if you know about it or if you look closely, you can see the little magnet on the outside. So that's a pro tip right there is wear them under your clothes because that's what the magnet is for. You can remove this and then that way you can put a piece of clothing or something in between and then uh, just have it there mounted. It also comes with a clip. So you can actually clip it onto something. I've seen people do that too, but then like, I don't know, that's not that bad, but it does get a little distracting, right? You got the flashing lights. You can turn the lights off on these, uh, just so you know on the DJI ones, but uh, this would be my recommendation to do everything. So they give you the two wind guards and this is the whole package. This is all you have to carry with you for professional audio 
uh, for your videos, for your podcasting. I use it for podcasting, uh, voiceovers. You can even record to these if you just need audio. If you just need audio, you can record. They do record because they do have uh, memory built into the mics. So I'll show you that uh, maybe on screen. I don't remember how many or how much memory these can hold, but you're gonna use this to carry them around. You get the three mics and the receiver. So you can see they're always going to be charged because this also is a battery bank charger. You recharge it using USB-C and you just throw everything in here and it all charges at the same time. The one issue I had with the uh, Rhodes, because I had the, the wireless go from Rode, I think that's what it's called. I had to recharge each individual item. So I had to recharge, and I usually only had one cable. I had to charge up the mic then I have to charge up the receiver and then I have to charge up the other mic if I wanted a backup or if I'm gonna be interviewing or talking with somebody. That's what's cool about this is you get uh, two microphones. That way, if you're in an environment where it's noisy or you wanna have nice, crisp audio when you're talking with somebody, interviewing somebody, whatever it may be, you get the two mics with it. So this is around 300 bucks you get the case, the package, which is the two mics and the receiver, and you get the charging cable. Uh, and then you also get a cable, like I said, this, the neat thing about this one is that this is your receiver, right? Uh, let's see. This is your receiver. I'll show you that you can actually use it because it's a touch screen. Uh, you can use it like that. But it comes with a cold shoe mount. If you need to mount it on a DSLR, you can also use this for DS DSLRs. And it comes with the cable that goes into the uh, audio jack. But what it also comes with included, you don't have to buy any of this stuff. Cause some, some of the, like the, the Rode wireless, I believe makes you buy that, that auxiliary cable separate because it's a it's a special cable you can't use uh just any that you have laying around it has to be a certain kind i'll, I'll leave whatever name it, it is and you have to pay an extra like 10 bucks to get it and then uh this i think is the same price as the uh road go so uh you have these two uh bad boys so as you can tell one is a lightning and one is a USB-C. They have uh, pins on the other side. Those pins correspond with these little contacts right here. And you can see it tells you what way to slide them in. So if I'm connecting it to my iPhone, I get the lightning connector and I slide it in. Just make sure the only thing is I would say is sometimes I've knocked this, like removing it and putting it back on because I have to remove it to play the video back so I can hear what it what it sounds like and then I plug it back in to do another clip just make sure that it's just a habit of mine now just to always push up on it to make sure I hear hear it go all the way or click in uh, it just slides in but like I, I can hear like a little click when I do it sometimes and plug and play you just plug this into your phone and it automatically will pick it up as you record it's the audio from the mic you don't have to do anything else it's stupid simple the, the way I love it. So you do that. Let's say I'm gonna be uh, connecting it to, I mean, if you have another mobile device that has USB-C, this goes for that too. But if I wanna plug it into my computer, because I do podcasting, plug in the USB-C uh, connector and plug this into your computer. No, Nothing has to be done. When I use uh, StreamYard or Streamlabs, anything that I stream with, I plug this into the computer I hook this up to a little stand and I got a podcasting mic. Sounds great. Uh, I'll show you the settings that I use to get the most out of it because I did have a trial and error uh, with the volume peaking, getting too loud. Uh, you know, I had low audio when I started, so I was like, how do I raise the, uh, the uh, level there to try and balance it out? But yeah, you get the uh, adapters included which is basically 
for an iOS device, a USB-C device, or you get the cable that gives you the option to put it in uh, through the auxiliary jack, which is gonna be uh, this one right here, the out. This one is for headphones. You have the little icons there. That one allows you to, uh, like if somebody's manning the camera and they can check with headphones uh, the audio level. So you might not be able to do it because you're gonna be uh, talking or whoever is talking in front of the camera, it's gonna be too far, but whoever's manning the camera, you can uh, check the audio levels that way. You can hear what the mic is hearing through your headphones. And then the other one, like I said, is if, if you have a DSLR equipment or something that doesn't take one of the two adapters, uh, you can still hook into it with the auxiliary cable. And if you need to mount it to a camera or whatever kind of rig you have uh, set up, because I have some, uh, I have some phone tripods and stuff that have the little cold shoe mount, so it's a bit tricky. But you would slide this in to the thing itself, and then it becomes a cold shoe mount. It can also just be clipped on, I think, because that is a little lever there too. But that that's supposed to be for a cold shoe mount. So if you are using a DSLR or something, you can actually mount this to that that mount that usually uh, you have there. And all this is super simple. You remove everything, put it back in the case, and it all uh, charges and does everything for you. You don't have to worry about recharging it. Just make sure your charging case is charged. When you open it, it will give you the bars. There are four LEDs, so right now we're at about 75%. Everything's fully charged. I never have to worry about it. This thing's a lifesaver. 300 bucks got me a long way and uh, I can use it for everything. And then I also have done, uh, they do record to the devices themselves if you need to. So on this device, uh, there's a linking button in case you need to link it. There is a record button and a power button. So you can also charge or transfer files from here with a USB-C. There is a uh, auxiliary jack here, which if you need to connect a lavalier mic, let's say you don't want this hanging on somebody or you don't do what I do and put it under and you don't want that. Maybe the shirt is too uh, thin or, you know, whatever it may be, it's not in a good location. You can run a wired lavalier mic, right? And clip it to your collar like a lot of people do Put this in your pocket and it connects right there so you can connect a wired mic to it as well and it'll, it'll just act as a receiver you hook up the receiver to your camera or whatever it may be or what I was getting to is you hit this record button right so that turns red and action I can actually record audio like this take it off the device uh, via computer or tablet, whatever it may be, whatever you can connect uh, just with that USB-C because it acts as a uh, like an external hard drive. You just pull it out, use the audio in your editor, whatever you need to do, upload it as a podcast, audio only podcast, whatever you need to do, it can record and I'll put up how long it can record, how much memory is on this thing, all that stuff. All right, so let's get the mic back on, get the good audio going for the rest of this video. So when I started, uh, I didn't have this mic and this mic wasn't actually around the uh, DJI mic set. And that's why I had bought the Rode mic because I saw everybody using those wireless uh, Rode mics. They sound a little bit better, but it's marginal. You're not gonna notice uh, if you go with DJI and DJI has so many more benefits like the charging case, uh, they quick charge. So I think you can charge them for uh, like a, a few minutes and it's like almost fully charged. Uh, and the option that it comes with all the adapters and the, even the cable for auxiliary input. But regardless, when I started my channel, audio was one of the, like, the most frustrating things because I work outside, I'm recording outside. And uh, even then, like, if I'm recording anywhere, you know, it could be like the AC that's on or a fan that's on. So if you guys are recording any audio, I'll give you another tip. Uh, I don't know if you've ever noticed, because I watch a lot of YouTube and I watch a lot of creators for different things. Video gaming, 
uh, tech reviews, HVAC, which is what I do. So if you're ever recording, you know, it's cool to have the AC on, right? Have it on full blast. I don't know if you can hear that. When you're gonna start, when you hit the record button, lower it to the lowest setting or turn it off. So uh, a lot of times I've had to suffer in my garage because I have a fan that works next to me and a, uh, a little refrigerator that I have going for my drinks. So when I record, when I hit the record button, I need to shut all that off because all the audio will get picked up uh, from all the humming, the fans and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind when you record. Uh, audio is something you need to keep in mind for your uh, viewers because they might and a good, another good thing is to when you play back your video when you're editing listen to it without anything right from the speakers on your phone or tablet or computer whatever you're editing on listen to it with some headphones whether that's airpods or over the ear headphones i used to do all of that like i used to do airpods over the ear headphones through the speakers and through a tv because I used to, uh, or I would edit on my phone or iPad, I would airplay it to the TV so I could hear what, what it sounds like because I found out that a lot of my viewers and me, myself personally, when I watch YouTube, I watch it on a TV. So I wanted to know that how it sounded, if the music was too loud or this or that. So just listen to it back on different in different ways and then try and have it to where you, uh, like if you watch another video, see where, you have the volume at. So I always have the volume around halfway on my phone. That's how I would listen to mine and I could tell if my voice was too low, if the music was too loud, things like that. So anyway, uh, that, that's the struggle and that's an easy way to upgrade your, your channel, your videos, is to improve the audio. And like I said, it doesn't take much. This setup that I have right now is about 300 bucks, but it does more than just my videos. It does my podcasting, it does other things. So. Uh, there's all of that and I've done some photo shoots video shoots here and there with actual professional uh, videographers and stuff like that so I'll try and pay attention to what they do so if you guys watch any YouTube videos from your favorite creators just be be uh, aware keep your eyes open see how they do things because uh, you can learn little tips and tricks so uh, one of the things that I've learned to do on my phone if I'm not using a mic because a lot of times when I'm in my uh, work van and I'm just talking it's close enough, right? If I'm like a foot away from the from the phone, like this, maybe a, a couple inches uh, closer, I don't need a mic. I just got to make sure I turn my AC off or low on the lowest setting, and I can do a talk. Just make sure you talk uh, loudly and clearly, and you'll be fine. Now that that's gonna come with uh, with time, because I was not very comfortable when I first started and I talked really low. So with time, that'll come, but just try to be a little animated or emphasize your words, uh, be a little bit louder and clearer. And uh, right now is a good test, actually, because I'm, I'm on a road, a cheap road that they built, and my cabin, whether I'm in the van or I'm in my personal vehicle, the cabin gets very loud, so if you guys are not hearing that or it's minimal and you can hear me clearly, that's what a, a mic helps, right? When I would record with, with my phone, I, I ran through those issues of audio, and audio is one thing that you cannot fix in post. In post, So you're gonna be editing, and you're gonna be like, man, my video is messed up. I will give you a tip, though, if you guys use, like I said, if you guys know how to use DaVinci Resolve, there is a way to do it. I don't know how to do it. I've, I've been meaning to ask some guys that I know that do it, but if you guys use CapCut, because if you saw one of my previous videos, CapCut is up there in, in one of my top uh, three editing apps. I don't like that they have a, a monthly or weekly subscription, but a lot of their features are free. One of the free features is that you can uh, reduce noise. So I this is a feature that I've seen in TikTok, and it works a lot better in TikTok, but if you edit in, uh, in TikTok when you're uploading videos and stuff, you have the option to hit reduce noise and what that does is it tries to just uh, focus on your voice and anything in the background gets uh, toned down quite a bit. Now most times it works really good when it's in a loud environment. Every time you talk, a little bit of that noise comes in because it's trying to pick up uh, the volume on you. 
but a little bit of the background noise is going to bleed through. So uh, CapCut has that feature too, and I use it quite a bit when my audio is really screwed up or if something is distracting in the background. Uh, the worse it is, the harder it is to use that feature because it'll sound really bad. But just a, a pro tip there is if you go to CapCut, I don't use it or I'm trying to use it to edit my videos now on a uh, computer because they do. I didn't even know they had a uh, desktop version. So if you're going to use CapCut, like I said, I use it for memes. But another thing that I use it for is to just upload, like let's say I have a clip or two that's like really bad audio, I will upload it and just uh, run the reduced noise and then export those clips. That way when I put it into the editor that I want to use, that audio is already cleaned up. So uh, there's another little tip for you guys is the, uh, the reduce noise in CapCut. So if you go to CapCut, click on your clip, uh, go to audio. There should be one at the very end. I think you have to scroll all the way to the right and it's uh, reduce noise. So that'll help you uh, automatically. Not, it's not going to sound perfect. It's not going to sound super professional, but it's a lot better than nothing, right? Because I used to use uh, apps that did that and some of them did well, but I would have to run that audio through like several times just to, to kind of clean it the best that I could. And it started sounding like either slightly muffled, robotic, you know, whatever it may be, because I ran it through and had to heavily uh, compensate and remove that background noise. What I was getting back to is recording without mics. Uh, know where the mic is on your... Uh, device so like on an iPhone they're usually at the bottom and then there's one uh, where the cameras are there's one there pointed at whatever you're uh, recording so. all right so when you're recording without any mics there's this annoying thing that happens when you zoom in you probably don't hear me as well if I sound muffled I sound far away because it's trying to do like a audio zoom where if you zoom in the audio is tr it's trying to pick up the audio from wherever you're pointing at so I think I figured out how to fix it, so let me try that real quick. All right, so we toggled that off, which is stereo, and let's try it again. If it sounds good, then we're good. If it still sounds muffled, then it didn't work. But that's how you would fix that, is you turn the stereo off. That way, if you're recording something, you need to zoom in to get a better picture, you know, whatever the zoom is you can still be talking behind the camera and you'll sound clear. So hopefully that fixed that. And that's an extra bonus little tip. If I'm recording behind the camera, right? And I'm pointing at my uh, unit in front of me, equipment, whatever I'm working on. So I can see, you know, cause I can see my screen, the camera's on the back. I'm using the rear camera, rear camera, uh, whenever you can, that's the best quality. Since I know the mics are at the bottom, I try not to cover them. And I also kind of scoop my hand and talk like this, you know, the phone will be right here. I'll try and talk like this so I can kind of get that audio to scoop into the mic, right? Kind of close my hand up. Uh, don't cover the mic, but let it try, uh, kind of ba uh, bounce the audio into the mic. So that's one thing that I've done to improve the audio when I'm not using a mic. But if it's really windy outside, it's really bad, it's really loud, I have to go and grab uh, the microphone and it connects to the device, I can leave the receiver on my phone uh, while I'm working because I can put that in my pocket and it won't, it's not too bulky, it's not too much, it, it fits really nice. Uh, that's another cool thing about this one is the receiver is so small, the mics are so small because uh, on other, uh, like the roads, it's a big square and I don't think it has a magnet so you can't hide it. And then uh, there's other ones, like I think Anchor made one, but it's a big round one. And the receiver is like twice as big. So. Uh, and I just want to give you a uh, quick advice on any of those mics that you see, let's say on TikTok shop, Instagram ads, whatever it may be, that look like um, these higher end ones, but they're cheap. They're like a hundred bucks, whatever it may be. I would steer clear of those only because unless it's changed from what I've seen, you have to pick iOS or Android. So 
What that means is that whatever adapter it comes with, because remember I, I showed you this one came with two. I can plug it into the iPhone. I can plug it into a USB-C uh, device or computer and it works. If you pick one, you're stuck with it. So I think those are only one or the other, it's not both. This one has interchangeable tips and the auxiliary uh, TRS cable for other types of cameras or anything else, like a GoPro. You can plug it into a GoPro with the media mod because you can plug it into the auxiliary jack. So this one, I know it's a little bit more, but it's very versatile and it'll last you a lot longer versus trying to buy a $100 one, a cheaper one that you see in an ad but it only works with iPhones and then iPhones this year are rumored to switch to USB-C. So if you buy a lightning one, an iPhone, an iOS version mic that is only for iOS, you're going to be stuck with it and it's going to be obsolete unless you keep that phone for another five years or whatever it may be because everything is going to USB-C. The phone I have is, is lightning, so I can use the lightning connector and then if I ever get a new phone, I can use the USB-C connector. So that's what I'm saying is versatile. Don't fall for those uh, ads for the cheap mics. I think they sound good from what I've seen, but for as far as I know, you have to pick one or the other and you're gonna be uh, stuck with that lightning connector or whatever it may be and it might be outdated in a few months. These mics, you see ads from and stuff, just keep in mind, compare them uh, side by side what, what the benefits are. Cause like the Anchor one has that noise reduction, kind of like what I, what I showed you with, or told you about CapCut uh, has it built in which is a really cool feature but the device itself is way too big I don't want a big round thing on uh, on my shirt I don't want to make the receiver any bigger than than it is so I've seen that one it's really cool but it's it's not for me I like the simplicity and the compact uh, way of this mic setup so when I started like I said I, I had to improve the audio so I didn't know what to get. I saw that lavalier mics were a popular, you know, uh, remedy for bad audio. So I went down and, and went to Walmart. Walmart has a pretty good section now for video content creators. And you can find mics, tripods, even lighting, different things. And honestly, a lot of it's pretty good. So I buy a lot of my stuff from Walmart. If you guys, uh, you know, don't go there or don't want to buy it there. I have everything linked in my uh, description. So if you go to the film gear that I use, I get the closest thing, if not the same thing on Amazon. I'll look for it there and uh, upload it uh, for you guys to be able to order that stuff because you don't need expensive stuff. You don't need a lot of uh, crazy equipment, even just to start because the way I saw it was, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this long-term, so why am I gonna spend crazy amount of money on like a camera and like professional mics and all that stuff so what I started with once I realized I needed better audio is I went to Walmart and I got a wired uh, lavalier mic so the one I got specifically is the Bowers I think it's called uh, I bought a lot of their stuff and it sounds fine it actually sounded really good so a lot of my videos in the beginning were recorded or vo voiced over with uh, the Bowers lavalier mic. Now I'll have a link for one similar that has good reviews on Amazon. It looks exactly the same. But uh, basically I could carry that. I would just roll it up and put it in my pocket. A lot of these were in the winter when I started. So it was, uh, you know, I had like a jacket on. I'll just put it in the jacket pocket or whatever. And then as I needed it, I would plug it in. You just need the adapter because on an iPhone or on, on a lot of phones, you don't have an auxiliary jack anymore. So a uh, headphone jack. So you need to buy an adapter. So I had the lightning adapter, which is like under 10 bucks. So you get the little adapter, you get the, uh, the mic, which for me cost like 15 bucks. And I was good to go. I had a pretty good setup for under 25 bucks. I would just plug it in when I was going to record a clip of me, uh, explaining what I was doing right because a lot of times I'm holding the phone and I'm behind it so that wire I can even run it run it under my shirt and clip it and just have it hanging because uh, when I'm ready to use it I could uh, plug it in and start recording 
And if you're wondering what the mic sounds like, the cheap $15 mic with the adapter into the iPhone is what you need to get it to work. This is what it sounds like. I think it work. It sounds just as good, a uh, really good mic, and you can clip this to your shirt, run it through, and uh, sound pretty professional over uh, what you get out of the phone. You usually get a lot of echoes and, and, th and things like that if they can even hear you. So this is a good way to upgrade your mic on the cheap. That's how I did it. Cheap little mic, and it worked really good. I also used that to do voiceovers, uh, to do uh, videos like this, because I, like I said, I run, ran it under my shirt, and it was long enough so I could set up a tripod and be about this distance and discuss things, you know, do, do uh, sit down videos. And that worked out really well and it improved so much. That mic that I bought a long time ago when I started still has a use. I still use it for things. I keep it in my desk because if I don't want to bust out this, if it's charging or if it's in my my work vehicle, I left it behind or I left it in my backpack. I don't want to go get my backpack. I'm already in the office and I want to record audio. I can just plug it in and, and start recording and it, it sounds just as good. Even my, my social media posts, the vertical videos, I'm still using the mic because I want the best quality out there. I want the best uh, short TikTok video, Instagram reel. I want the best quality on all of that. So I'm still using the mic and uh, it's 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 been a big help all right guys so i'm finishing up my errands i hope this video was helpful hopefully you got uh some tips out of it some uh something to help you with your channel remember if you guys find any of this um i don't know interesting helpful uh, useful please consider liking commenting subscribing all that good stuff and uh help me uh, build this channel out so I can uh, invest in it a little bit more. You know, that's just how I built or helped out my audio because I think audio is a really easy way to up your quality because you can be recording on the phone and uh, the audio is probably going to be what suffers the most. So just by getting a mic, whether it's that under $25 setup that I mentioned, whether it's this $300 uh, multi-function um, that will get you through almost anything with any device no matter if you have an iPhone go switch to Android switch to a DSLR you know this setup works for everything so I can use it here I can use it on um, action cameras too so I just recently bought a DJI action 4 camera which if you guys haven't checked it out you know go check out that video and uh, I can plug this directly into it as well because it's USB-C and uh, I can have this audio on my phone, on my action camera, on my computer for podcasting. It's multifunction, one purchase, and that's, that's what I love. If you guys are interested, I will keep doing these kind of videos. I, have, I might do a desk setup at some point because I am a podcaster as well. So if you guys haven't checked that out, on my other channel, I do ha have a podcast and I just kind of upgraded that setup, but I was using this mic before and it worked fine, but I got a deal on, a, on an actual podcast mic and I'm trying it out. So if you guys are interested, maybe I can do a desk s setup. You know, everything I do is on a budget on the, I don't know if it's on the cheap, but you know, I don't like to waste money. So a lot of the stuff, it has multi-purpose, it has uh, good value at an affordable price. I'm not somebody that goes and buys like a thousand dollar camera, $500 headphones, $500 microphone, whatever it may be. So if you guys are, like I said, if you guys are interested in this, I'm going to try and post more often. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys.